Okay, what you're looking at here is, uh, this is my iPad, and it's running a program called Rev. You can see this right here. This is the average fuel economy right here, and I just did a, probably about a 10-mile run, and it's going down right now because I'm idling. But um, that shows the average, which is 20, <clears throat> it was over 20.5 miles to the gallon. And this right here is my voltmeter and also has an amp gauge on it. It shows the amperage draw that I'm getting through uh, my HHO unit. Then behind it is this little thing here. This is the uh, pulse uh, circuit monitor here. And what that does is it changes the pulse of the uh, amperage going into the HHO unit. And it's adjustable. If I adjust it, watch this, it'll go, it'll show the voltage or the amperage going up and down. So it's up now, I'm going to turn it down, down, so now it's reading like one amp. I crank it up, and I don't usually run it more than 10 because I'm afraid it's going to overheat the HHO unit. So again, this is my iPad, and it's running a program called Rev, and it's reading directly into the OBD2 uh, port <coughs> Excuse me, inside of my truck, which is right down here. So that's information right directly from the computer. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other parts. Okay. This right here is a unit that is set up to alter the, the readings that the oxygen sensors get. I've got four oxygen sensors. I've got two in front of the catalytic converter and two in back. So I've got this all wired in so it reads that information there. And then this is my HHO unit here. And you can see... It's hot now. I'd say it's probably right near its its peak, is what it should be, um, which is a, I think I think it's like 140 degrees before it starts boiling. Uh, so this has got uh, KOH in it, and I've got about two two tablespoons of KOH in it, um, and I'm fully aware I can increase or decrease the heat by varying that but I don't have any place else to put this thing I've tried to put it in the radiator here there's no room there over there I could put it over there if it was of different configuration but it isn't so I got a heat problem right now so let me see I think that probably answers the questions I think this cost a hundred bucks this thing right here uh, this was a hundred and what right around a hundred and the uh, pulse wave uh, circuit was about 40 bucks roughly so I'm getting this is a six point liter six six point oh liter engine it's a large v8 engine and normally I would have gotten probably nine miles to the gallon and you could see by the information that was shown on the OBD2 uh, readout on my iPad that it was over 20.5 miles to the gallon. So if it wasn't for the overheating, um, probably be a good deal. But I have to I think I I have to change the KOH in this unit probably about every I don't know, it depends on how hot it is. It's gonna in four days it's gonna get back up to ninety-five. Right now it's probably only about eighty right now. So in four days it's gonna go back up to ninety-five. I'll probably have to change it before then. So in the next four days I'll have to change it again. I just changed it maybe three days ago. Because what it does is it cooks the uh, uh, pot pot potassium hydroxide inside of the unit. Okay, over and out. <clears throat>